I'm here to talk about file management. I'm using Windows 10. I have some files on a desktop in a folder called Student Disk. If you're looking for files or folders here, it's a little different here. If you click on the Start button here in Windows 10, doing this as a beginner thing here, you see that little musical note? That means music. Down here is Pictures. Down here is File Explorer. And you would use File Explorer to find things on a flash drive. It will show all the other files that you have pictures, documents, downloads, desktop. I suggest knowing where you're putting files when you're doing this initially. It'll say prom. We have a folder here with 130 items. I'm going to go over a few core basics here. And I'm on Windows 10. You have the file tab here where you have a few things here. You don't use this one a lot. I'm going to go into home. And oops, if I double click, it keeps that window down there, that task pane there. And you could copy a file. You click on copy and then you paste. It makes a duplicate with the name copy there. If you want to get rid of it, you would hit the delete key. Say yes. Goes to the recycle bin. And you can move to another folder, copy to another folder. That way you have things here. I would suggest keeping things in one location you don't especially when it's working with a word file or any type of file you make edits in one they won't show up in the other you have delete here you can also create folders like let's say I want a folder for my photos from whenever I click on new folder and I'll call it photos you could put folders inside folders and I'm looking at things here where it's showing the extension here and I'm, you get a preview over here, which is very nice. If I narrow it, this column here, you get to see the date it was created, the type of file, JPEG, the size. And when you're doing this, and let's say I want to put a bunch of files or images in here, you could also change how it looks. You click on the View tab. And then you could go to large icons. And let's say I have a bunch of pictures here. I could do it one at a time. One at a time. I could take a group. I click in the first one. I hold down the shift key. It goes to the end of the range. Just drag them in there. Or I could cut and paste them in the folder. It depends on your preferences. Let's say I only want to move a few files here. Click here. You also have a check mark here. I can click on the check mark here, the check mark here, and let's say the check mark here. And I click in one of them that's checked off, pull it in. Another way of doing this is you click on one, you hold the control key. You gotta be firm when you hold it down, otherwise you end up accidentally making duplicates and then you end up with several thousand instead of several hundred. I'm holding down the control key here. I'm doing multiple non-adjacent selections. Drag them into here. I'm going to open up this folder. You could put a subfolder in here. So what it is, let's say I want to create a folder for the Botanic Garden. You can also click on New Folder at the top, or you could right-click, say New Folder. Then you might even want to put the year, the month, the date there. You need a good filing system. And I go over here. I hold the shift key down. And then this is, I believe, the last one from the Botanic Garden here. Over here. And let's say I need some for my pictures from Alaska. I went to Alaska. And then I just, if I only want a few of them, I don't want the other ones, drag them into here. And then I decide, I really don't like that photo. I don't like that photo. Actually, one that, but I could just highlight these two, delete it. And these are a few pictures that were taken in Ireland. What I typically do when I have a group of folder files and I would just create a new folder, believe it or not, called Miscellaneous. 
that way you're not going nuts trying to organize them. I typically use the photo name there. I could call this Alaska. Like let's say I want to rena rename this Denali. Right click, left click on rename. And I t it leaves that extension there. Leave it there. So I have Denali. And let's say I want to rename all these, let's say mountain. And what it will do, you can't have more than one file with the same name, but watch this. I control click. Right click here, rename mountain. I got mountain one, two, and three. So we've done that. I want to get back to a previous screen, the back button, just like the internet. And I'm back into here. Other thing, too, that I was going to say when you have that preview, this is great with a Word file. It shows you the content, so you don't have to keep opening things. I'm going to go. And you can do different types of sorts here. If I go into details, typically it's alphabetical, numbers before letters, folders above that. You could also sort by date modified. If I go into type, and if I sort it there, it's separating the spreadsheets from the PowerPoint from the folders. Nice thing. I might want to find the biggest file. I have this, if I scroll up here, I have this big fat image over here which is like nearly 5,000 or 5 megabytes. So I'm going through this one here, okay? Uh, I will go back into a few other things here. It's just giving me different views. Manage. If I'm in here, you can do a slideshow, which is what I wanted to show you. If I click on here, I click on slideshow, it keeps going. I see this woo and ah, okay? It will change the pictures automatically. I want to stop looking at it. I hit the escape key. And I'm going to go back into view. It's showing the extensions .jpg, .whatever, .xls. If I check this off, it doesn't show the extension. I want to show these checkboxes. I meant to see this one here. File name extensions. Keep them on. It's pretty basic. You don't have to learn a lot, but a DOCX is a Word document. XLSX is a spreadsheet. JPG is a photo. A lot of times you might get an attachment in an email. You think it's something useful. Don't do it because if I go into here, file name extensions, it could be a program or an executable file that could put a virus or malware on your computer. If you're not expecting an attachment from somebody, please do not go on it and open it or download it. Email the person and say, was there any reason you sent that to me? So I'm just going to reiterate the home. It's all the copy. You can create folders here. You can also do a search. I'm going to show that last to share allows you to share files you can email them here and you can print if you have a fax if you select a bunch of files you can burn them to a cd that way you could share images with people you've got the view here this is really cool where you can get things larger and you have the manage so going back uh there was one thing i wanted to do with you I will, if I bring this pane over here, it makes it a little larger. What I wanted to be talking about was rotating a picture. If I'm in here, I could, on the Manage tab, I could rotate left. Or you could right click and do the rotation further down there. That's it as a core basic. Hopefully this will help you. I'm here to talk about searching here. I click inside a file or anyone here. I want to do a search. I click in here. You have that search student disk here. 
I could type in a file name, like if I'm trying to find something, for example, I saw some whales. I could just type in a star, spell it right, and it's going to show some whale watch photos here. But this is a nice feature here. It will go through all of the folders that I have here. Now let's say I want to go into a date search. You do have, you can look at recent searches here. I click on date modified. And I click, I'm going to just click on anything. It says date modified yesterday. I don't have anything from yesterday. And it's looking for a whale from yesterday. So let's get rid of everything in here. And so I'm in here again. I'm going to click on date modified. This was a pain for me in the beginning here. But I'm just going to, it says this week where I created these folders. I hit the backspace key a little bit. And um, I wanted that calendar. So if I click here, watch this. I'm going to scroll back a few years. I'm going to go back. Let's say I know I was someplace in April of 2010. And I need to see the files or the work I was doing here. And what I do here, I just go down here. You can go into several months here. I still have to hold this down a little more. Now, I just take my mouse and click and drag over that whole month. It's showing a couple of photos, a file. Oh, I did that file. That's the one that I needed. I knew I did it then. Or that picture where, oh, I know I was there then. So I'm going through these little search techniques. One thing that is good is to just give a file a good name. And that way, if you forget what it was, you could do a search in your documents, if you have a lot of files there, it could take a few minutes to accomplish.